one of the key elements of having a, a parking management software is the ability to add vehicles to be able to enter into the parking lot. So we're going to into the authorized cars and now we're going to see how to add a vehicle to be able to enter to a parking lot. So of course that every parking lot is being hosted by a company. Okay, a company vehicles can enter this parking lot. It can be one company, two or ten. It doesn't matter. In this case, we have only three companies. We're going to do the example for company number one. Now, whenever we add a vehicle, we don't really add the vehicle into the company. We add the vehicle into a parking group. Every company can has its own parking groups. It can create one parking group, two or three or one million. It doesn't matter. Depends on the number of departments. It wants to give access to different parking lots. Every parking group can get access to different parking lots. So the basic thing is to add the vehicle into the parking group. So we are going to see that right now we don't have any parking groups. So we need to add a parking group. Of course, we can see that at the moment we cannot add any authorized cars. Okay. So add a parking group. We are in the parking group section and we're going into the company. Of course, we can choose for which company we want to add the parking group. Let's choose company number one and add a parking group to company one. So let's give it a name as a parking group one. So we have correlation with, uh, with the name of the company, company one, parking group one. And now we choose the parking lot where this company has the ability to enter. Uh, not the company, but the parking group. So whoever is a part of the parking group number one will be able to enter parking lot number one. Save changes, close. Of course, we can create uh, multiple parking groups, okay, with different parking lots for the same company, as we said, for different departments, but we don't want to get confused right now. So let's delete the extra parking group and we are remaining with parking group number one. So going back, going back into the authorized cars, now we can see that we can choose the parking group, the parking group that we have created. So let's choose parking group number one. And now we can see that we can add a new vehicle. So add authorized car. Let's just write down a, a simple license plate with not too many digits. And we select for which parking it has the ability to enter with the name. Of course, the mandatory parts are the name and the license plate number. Uh, the rest of the information is not, uh, not a must. You don't have to put it inside. But, uh, of course, it's, uh, if you want more information about the dri different drivers, information such as the email or phone number or uh, yeah, addresses, then, of course, this is where to put it. Uh, basically, this is it. The camera is actually getting the information from the shop. Okay, the information is not staying on the shop, but it's been synchronized into the camera. So even if the cam, if the even if the uh, computer, the PC is uh, offline or uh, or turned off or something, uh, the camera will still allow access to the vehicles on the database because the database is on the camera and not on the shop. Actually, the more to be accurate, it, it's uh, in the same place. Okay, the database is both on the camera and on the shop. So now, now we want to know if the camera got the plate, because it's not enough to have the plate here. We want to know that the camera got it, so whenever this vehicle will approach the parking lot, it will, it will be able to access. So we press the license plate status, and we can see a green V. Uh, if we have a red X inside instead, then all we need to do is to press the authorized parking lots, okay, on that vehicle, because we know it didn't add it to the camera. We can see that it is on the camera, so no problem here. If you want to do it on uh, 100 different vehicles that we have here that we have added, then we can just press the advanced and authorize all. Whenever we do that, we get a message and all of the vehicles are synchronized to the camera and all of them has the ability to enter.